the city, the street, by land or by sea, together forever is my favorite place to be. When you're going up and down the ICW on the East Coast, there's lots of places you hit because they're convenient. One of the places we've not hit because it's not convenient is Wilmington, North Carolina, because it's kind of a few hours up the Cape Fear River. And um, yeah, we're migrating south and there's no reason to rush too much. So we're gonna go check out Wilmington. But it's been really difficult to find uh, any dockage anywhere because A, there's lots of boats moving up and down, and B, the hurricane that wrecked the marinas nearby, all those boats have to go somewhere. So all the marinas are like extra full in this area. But we were able to get a little bit of spot on some city docks and we're gonna check out Wilmington, North Carolina. It's supposed to be pretty cute and um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's also almost Halloween, so we can maybe do Halloween there with Kira. Right, we just went under that bridge and we're gonna go dock at the city dock in Wilmington. Yeah, it's not like a real marina, it's just like a dock that has power. It has water, right? I would assume so. There's Wilmington. You think there'd be more boats? But I guess that's the old walk, river rock. I don't know. It's I one to between I one and three. All right, I gotta go help dock. Yep. I guess part of what makes this a good port town is that I, I didn't expect the tide to switch this far up, all the way this far up the river. I like the trees in the courtyard. You look tired, here. In a weird way, it almost feels like Vegasy. It's a cute place. Pumpkin acai bowl. Have some. It's safe. Is that the pumpkin you like? Pick your pumpkin. Is that your pumpkin? That one's dented. You like that one? <laughs> We're gonna go see the battleship. That's gonna be yeah. interesting. It's a big boat. It's big, all right. Let's go, Kim. All right, let's get some of this energy out. Up the ramp, up the ramp. Go, 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 go. Get that energy up. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Got like a dry dock thing here. I wonder how much that teak cost. So it's painted blue on the top to blend in with the ocean, I guess. That's huge. It doesn't even feel like we're on a boat. So like this whole turret right here, you turn. The guns. Oh, I see the plane. Yeah, so this is a 16-inch gun turret, and just this gun thing has 16 level. It's massive. It's just crazy, you know, given our perspective on a sailboat, how how big all this stuff is. I thought a 45 foot cat would be a big upgrade. <laughs> the bullets go into the chamber. Even the tables have fiddles. I bet they're bolted down. No. Hmm. No, they're not. I guess they can move them out of the way. That's a big galley. Let's go in the galley. Yeah. This is actually kind of nice with nobody here. Yeah. Make cool. big soup bowl. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's big soup bowls. Imagine like their storeroom must be huge. This is the equivalent of our boat's rudder room. <laughs> so these are like our auto helm. But the way, 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 way bigger. Yep, we have one of these. It's about this big. <laughs> Holy cow. So this uh, must be the, yes, the rudder. And it's just like a rudder reference sensor. Jessica wants one of these on our boat. A whole ice cream room that's bigger than half of our boat. So this is a shaft that they use to move big things through the boat, like these 16 inch shells. Pretty far down. It's like four or five decks down. Yeah. Would want to fall down there. Okay. There's a screen. And then a, a newer version, but I'm assuming they had an older one. It's just like our boat. I mean, all we're missing is some really, really big guns. And Oh, th there's the old projector right there. Speakers. 
This is where they slip. Does not look super comfortable. So some people's racks were these ones? I mean, at least you wouldn't have anybody above you. Each sailor was allowed 25 gallons, which I think is a lot. And they would make up to 74,000 gallons a day. That's a heck of a water maker. 200 men for each head. They had six heads. Look at Navy showers were apart. Let down, turn off water, soap up, rinse off. Yeah, we're That's used to what that. we do. <laughs> <laughs> when, we're out, when we're out of Marina, we just let it run. <laughs> Here's the head. No privacy. It's all one bucket. Oh, this is a trough. And then toilet paper above your head. Yeah. I guess you just kind of like Japanese bathrooms, you just kind of keep your eyes to yourself. Privacy? You lost that when you joined the Navy. We need one of these signs in a, uh, the guest bathroom. So this is a pretty nice luxury. This is a machine room. So not only did they carry spares, but they could literally just make new whatever they wanted. Yeah, they don't have a West Marine. Yeah, no West Marine. Just make a new one. It's uh, interesting to see this because my grandpa was a machinist in, the, in World War II on the, in the Navy. Your DNA was somewhere like this. So this ship could shoot all the way down to Southport, 23 mile range with their main armament. It's crazy. You wouldn't even see them. You wouldn't even be able to see them on the water. This is the radio room. Basically, they're VHFs, lots of them. This is the Honolulu station. Honolulu. <laughs> Look at the... Uh, the hatches, look, look how high they were. You would have had to jump through it. They've modified this. But you can see by looking at the, do the door that they used to be way deeper. And step over. This is a turret. The whole thing would move. That's a bullet, a shell. Is this a winch? This looks like a winch. So this whole room is underneath the main turret too, and it rotates. They have their own diving space. No tanks, but someday we would like to be outfitted to be able to do diving off our boat. Not with that. Not with that. <laughs> Sick bay. Surgery room. Medical supplies. A dentist. I wow, wouldn't want to come in here, it looks scary. The uh, dispensary where all the medicines were kept and doled out. What were the medicines? We're on the bow now. These anchor chains, of course, you would expect are ginormous. The windlass is way bigger than me. Look at these anchor chains, Kira. Do it. Do it again. <laughs> so the anchor chains each weigh 80 pounds per link, and the capstans are for moving material, like basically like big winches. And then you get the windlass. So we're up on deck now, checking out the Admiral's cabin. Cabin, Admiral's cabin. Looks like the Admiral actually had a bit of a couch and carpet. After being below deck for so long, it feels a lot more spacious above deck. Fire control radar. The armor is six inches, 16 inches thick and the door is 12 inches thick. Yeah, this is like the eyes and ears of the boat and they made the walls thick so I could get shot at and just like basically punch it out with another boat. So this is the chart room. And in the chart room, they have the Chapman's piloting and seamanship book. Don't know what edition that is, but I think we're on like 67 now. We have one of those on our boat. And while underway, this is the captain's cabin. So he's really close to the helm. 
if need be. So even for the captain, while underway, it's pretty austere. Wow, you guys seem to like this one. This is the actual helm. I think their helm seems a little better than ours. So they had 15 boats on board. Like you can see the picture here. They like stack them up and put them around the ship as like tenders launches for people. They had whale boats which were designed for sailing. Used for many things. That's the tour. It's. I feel like we only saw like a fraction of the actual boat ship. Imagine being stationed on one of these as a young 20 something in the war just like exploring and learning and all the rules and stuff it must have been quite an adventure but also scary so really awesome boat and imagine this thing's 80 years old or older maybe 100 imagine what they got now it's super impressive compared to this and this is impressive 